For ages, parents, teachers, and counselors have been trying desperately to tell people that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. And teenagers, especially teen girls, have been pretending to listen. But how can we embrace these positive messages when at every checkout aisle we see glossy pictures of perfect women in sensuous poses? We would love to believe Bruno Mars when he tells us that we're beautiful just the way we are, but the rest of the media seems to disagree with him. According to Psych Central, adolescents see an estimated 5,260 attractiveness messages per year from television commercials alone. And about half of 5th through 12th grade girls say that the images of models in magazines make them want to lose weight. Thankfully, one company in particular is fighting to change these unsettling statistics. The Dove skincare brand launched its Real Beauty campaign in 2004 after it conducted a study which found that only 2% of women worldwide consider themselves beautiful. Over the past few years, Dove has been fighting against various body type issues. To start off, they released a series of advertisements displaying different races of women with healthy, appropriate weights for their individual heights. This bold step used the first question of the rotary four-way test to challenge their competitors' advertisements by asking them, is it the truth? The Dove campaign shows how the majority of women truly look, and it presents a beauty standard that is both healthy and attainable. The truth is, very few women will ever attain the 5 foot 9 height and 24 inch waist required to be a Victoria's Secret model. Darn, there goes one career option out the window. <laughs> Over the past few years, Dove has been fighting to let people know that beauty cannot be measured by a scale. Through its images of real women, Dove embraces the truth and encourages all people to do the same in regard to their own bodies. If I had a nickel for every time I heard someone exclaim, it's not fair, if I ate like that I'd weigh 400 pounds, I might have enough money to buy one of those $10 million fashion show outfits. Although. That hardly seems like a practical investment to me, because I've seen dish rags with more fabric. Mm. <laughs> so, is this campaign fair to all concerned? While the world may not be fair, everyone still deserves to be treated with equal amounts of respect. Some people have larger frames than others, some have faster metabolisms, and some are born with various birthmark patterns. But Dove tells us that that is perfectly all right. What other companies may claim as imperfections Dove cherishes as the things that make us unique individuals. They try to be fair to all colors, sizes, and ages of women. Their equitable representation allows women to relate to the people we see in their ads. This differs vastly from the kinds of models that companies like Abercrombie and Fitch employ to sell their products. It's odd, really. You'd think for a corporation that sells clothes, they might actually want their models to be wearing some. <laughs> Only displaying one narrow demographic of rail-thin girls and beefed-up boys isn't fair to those others who want to feel comfortable in their own skins. In his song, Just the Way You Are, Bruno Mars goes on to say, I know when I compliment her, she won't believe me, a statement which has become all too true among today's youth. Friendships between teens can be torn apart by the inability to accept compliments that young people don't think they deserve. One of my closest friends happens to be gifted with a gorgeously tall hourglass figure. Many people have often told her how pretty she is, and my brother's girlfriend even mentioned that the first time she met my friend, she thought she looked like a Greek goddess. This same friend has been waging a war between her perfectly healthy weight and her not-so-perfect self-esteem, even going so far as to not eat a thing for four days straight. Scowling disdainfully into the mirror, she once said to me, I could be a model if I weren't so fat and gross. Horrified by this kind of self-loathing, the Real Beauty Campaign is teaching women to be kind to themselves and pass this goodwill onto others. By battling against body shaming, Dove is educating people to cherish all walks of life so that we can build better friendships based on respect and honesty. The friends we choose should be people we look up to and could model our lives after. The Dove campaign presents us with individuals we can realistically consider as models for healthy living. Will their movement be beneficial to all concerned? Absolutely. While it primarily targets women, it seeks to educate men as well. 
It convinces men that they needn't nor shouldn't simply scan the physical appearance of a woman to decide whether or not she's worth it. We're all worth the respect we deserve. Clearly opposing this idea, a website about ideal body measurements spends an entire page detailing exactly what the perfect woman should look like and then tacks a little disclaimer onto the end that says, men don't really need women to have a 100% perfect figure to be satisfied. So if you are a woman, take this article more like interesting facts than something you should have to achieve. How considerate of you, I thought, as my hand immediately inched towards the measuring tape to make sure my eyes were far enough apart. So what would make someone like me any less beautiful than society's model of a perfect woman? Well, if we were to ask the folks who cast the Victoria's Secret Angels, they could probably think of two things. I mean, clearly my feet are half a size too big. <laughs> But Dove has shown me that these things don't really matter. Beauty comes from the way you see yourself, and that starts with loving who you are, no matter what size or shape or color your unique personality comes in. Embrace the truth of what real beauty looks like. If you don't let the airbrushed advertisements blind you with all their Photoshop, you can find beauty in every person you lay eyes on, especially the one who smiles back at you from the mirror. Thank you. <laughs>